So how often should you change your oil? The video that I've put up fairly recently had phenomenal feedback. I had so many useful comments and helpful suggestions from people on that video. I just felt I needed to offer a follow up video that just answers some of the questions raised in the comments and just clarifies a few points. So how often should you change your oil? There is no rule of thumb answer. Everyone has got their own background, their own experiences, but a lot of that is borne out by the type of engine that you drive. So we tend to see those with diesel particulate filters and turbocharged engines needing to change the oil more often that oil is really taking a beating from the extra heat that is going into the engine through having those additional devices on it. Those with large capacity naturally aspirated engines tend to change their oil fairly infrequently. But another factor that comes into account is the oil that you use. So synthetic oil tends to last much longer than mineral oils. Mineral oils, if you were to look at it under a microscope and you could see the molecular sizes of the particles that go into that oil, you'll notice that the particle sizes vary quite a lot in mineral oil. Whereas in a synthetic oil, those particles are much more consistent you can create much more consistent viscosity in those synthetically created oils. So be careful with oil labeling. I have known some mineral oils or mineral based oils to be labeled as synthetic just because of the additive packs that have gone into them, but they're not true synthetic oils. Now with conventional oils, they tend to break down. So those mineral oils, the particle sizes will generally reduce over time as they start to go through the heat and cooling cycle and just the general stresses of being inside the engine. So when you top up your oil, can you regard that as an oil change? Assume that your sump takes about five litres of oil and over the course of a year, you've added five litres to it. So does that mean you don't have to change your oil? You look at the oil and it still looks fairly clean. Well, one thing to bear in mind is that you are not changing the oil. What's happening to your oil? The level is decreasing because the lighter particles in that oil are burning off. They're getting into the cylinders and start starting to burn off or they're getting lost through other means throughout the engine through the positive crankcase ventilation system for example. So you're left with all the larger heavier particles in the oil. So when you top up you've got a greater density of those heavy particles with the little bit that you've topped up. So eventually the viscosity of the oil is going to change just through that process of continually topping up. You don't tend to lose those heavier larger particles. It does usually tend to be the lighter particles that get burnt off quickly. So you should still absorb observe an oil change schedule even if you are topping up. I know some owners with certain engines are having to top up the oil every 1000 kilometers, um, which does seem excessive, but that doesn't mean they don't have to change the oil at those regularly specified intervals. And also changing out the filter is certainly a good idea. So don't skimp on those oil changes just because you keep topping it off. So how do you actually know when to change your oil? You really need to get the engine oil sent off for analysis. You don't have to do it every time. You just need to establish a baseline on your engine the oil grades and brands that you're using and your typical average use of the car. So if any of those change, it would be a good idea to get that oil analyzed and send it off and just see what it comes back with. So in the oil analysis, you're looking out for metal particles that build up in the oil. If you don't change the oil regularly, you will notice more and more particles building up, which is quite normal. A 12 month oil or a 24 month oil will have different ratios of those metal particles just because they've been in the engine for longer. So what you have to look at is the rate of increase of those particles. So you do need to take a few measurements just to see how things are going. Bear in mind also that those particles are adding abrasives to the oil itself. So they're further going to accelerate the engine wear. And in most of the oil analysis that I've personally had done on my engine oil and my engines when I've had the oil changed, I've noticed that about seven to eight thousand seems to be optimal changing the oil more frequently the viscosity is still at the correct grade the metal particles haven't built up at a level and they're not starting to accelerate or run away but where i've left it for 12 months 24 months i'm starting to see that engine wear accelerating away please let me know in the comments your experience it'll be really good if we could just have maybe a rule of thumb on this type of engine people have noticed you need to change the oil every three thousand 
miles and this other type of engine you can get away with a two year or 24,000 mile schedule and I know there's a few of you out there that just don't believe that you need to change the oil so I would personally love to agree with you but then we would both be wrong oil is the lifeblood of the engine it's not a significant cost even if you live in the UK and the cost of oil is relatively expensive where we're paying about 70 pounds for five litres of oil in some cases those performance oils can really cost quite a lot of money it's still an investment in reducing the wear and tear on the engine so I've not been paid to promote oil changes I'm just here to ensure that people get the best out of their engines and all I can do really is relay the information from my own experience and things that people have told me through comments on our website email feedback we've had and little tests that we've run over the years and when we get a chance to really investigate things we get to report that back so please fire up the comments let me know your experiences with oil changes and how frequently you feel it should be done thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in this next video please subscribe if you haven't done so because we would love you to stay tuned thanks for watching